Okay, Gable, we need to go home and answer some Pokemon Go questions. See you in a second. Okay, he gave a checklist of what to do before the Gibble Community Day event starts. Okay, so the Gibble Community Day starts at 11 a.m. local time. So before 11 a.m., you want to do these three things. First, you want to Mega Evolve Altaria, or you want to Mega Evolve a Charizard into Mega Charizard X, if you want the extra Gibble candy. When you have an active Mega Evolve Pokemon that's a Dragon type, when you catch Dragon type Pokemon, you'll get extra candy. In this case, a lot of Gibble candy. Second, you want to check out my Excellent Throw Framework video from my channel if you want to learn and attempt to do Excellent Throws on Gibble. Since the bonus for this Gibble Community Day is triple catch XP, you want to make sure you want to try to get as many excellent throws as you can on Gibble. I'll have the link up here so you can watch it after you watch this video. And third, check out the shop to claim your free Pokeball box and also to check out the special research if you're interested in buying that for a dollar or to look at the community day box which you can spend 1280 Poke coins to get. One note I want to mention about the one dollar special research, if you're someone who has a busy schedule and you won't be spending a lot of time doing Gibble community day, then it might be worth it to get that one dollar special research. The reason I say this is if you're not in the wild trying to catch a good IV Gibble then it might be worth it to get that $1 special research or you guarantee some kind of decent IV Gibble, Gambi, or Garchomp when you catch those. Can you give a checklist of what I should keep in mind during the event? Okay, so during the Gibble Community Day hours from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time, you should do these three things. The first thing you want to do is activate Lucky Eggs either at the very start of the event or one by one during the event. Remember the bonus for this Community Day is Triple Catch XP, so a Lucky Egg will definitely benefit you. Also, make sure you activate an incense because incense will last for three hours. And also activate any lures if you're near any pokey stops. Oh, and one more thing that's new this Community Day, lures will be lasting for three hours. If you need a reminder about the spawn rates from incense and lures, incense will spawn one Pokemon about every minute, and lures will spawn one Pokemon about every three minutes. If you're going to be using a special lure, like the Mossy Glacial Rainy Lure, they will spawn one Pokemon every one and a half minutes. Regular lures will most likely be spawning Gibbles once every three minutes, and special lures will probably spawn Gibble once every other spawn. Don't forget to try for excellent throws. Second, assume you have the Pokemon storage, don't transfer any of the Gibbles that you catch and wait until Tuesday spotlight hour to transfer them. If you're at the max limit for Pokemon storage, don't forget you can expand it up to 4,500. Since this Tuesday's upcoming spotlight hour on June 8th features double transfer candy, a common question that people ask is, will I get double XL candy? And the answer to that is no. If you transfer a Pokemon during that spotlight hour bonus, you only get double regular candy. If you're looking for XL candy, you want to make sure you catch as many Gibbles as you can during the Gibble Community Day hours. And then finally, you want to finish the special research if you purchase that in the shop. Keep in mind that that Gibble special research won't go away after the event ends, it will stay with you forever, but I would recommend you try to finish it during the Community Day hours so you can at least finish the tasks that require you to catch Gibbles. Can you make a checklist for what to do after the event? Okay, so after Gibble Community Day ends at 5 p.m. local time, you want to do these three things. First, you want to mirror trade with your friends and your Pokemon Go communities to potentially get a lucky Gibble to evolve. Second, you want to make sure you evolve your best Gibbles into Garchomp so it can get the exclusive move Earth Power. I'll answer the question, is Garchomp good with Earth Power after I finish this checklist? And then lastly, as a final reminder, make sure you don't transfer your Gibbles when you catch them and wait until Tuesday Spotlight Hour to transfer them so you can take advantage of the Spotlight Hour bonus double transfer candy. And now to answer the question, is Garchomp with Earth Power good? And the answer to that is yes. Garchomp is generally a good ground type Pokemon even though it is also a dragon type. Garchomp is actually considered the best ground non-legendary Pokemon. So if you're someone like a new or returning Pokemon Go player who doesn't have a ground on or a Landorus, then Garchomp will be your best friend against electric types, steel types, and poison types. There will most likely be electric type and steel type legendary Pokemon coming our way in the future. So Garchomp will be perfect to counter against those. And one final note, Mega Garchomp, whenever that comes out in the future, will probably be the best Mega ground type Pokemon there will be. Let's hope we get Mega Garchomp later this year. And that wraps up all the checklists and all the answers I can offer about the Gibble community today. So final reminders, I do have a survey in the description that gives you the opportunity to let me know what kind of Pokemon Go topics you're interested in seeing videos about. I also will be having live streams later this month, so keep a lookout for community posts announcing those. And then finally, thank you to my subscribers, thanks to those who continue to stay subscribed to me, and thanks to those who recently subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet, I hope you got value out of this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Stay safe and have fun during Gibble Community Day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.